guys, Dawn Boy 601. And the big one finally happened. There has been some major balance changes in Helldivers to very popular guns, backpack stratagems, equipment, armor. Everything has now changed. So we're going to go over it because what used to be your most popular loadout won't be as effective anymore and you may want to start to transition to some new things so with all that said let's dive on in and first things first planetary hazards we have new planetary hazards um, from fire tornadoes to meteor showers they will now randomly appear on maps i ran into the meteor showers this morning and uh it was quite fun it was it was like a random time uh, artillery strike that could hit everyone. You know, no one was safe. Terminids or myself. So I, for one, I'm here for it. it. Just anything else to add a little more chaos is going to be fun. Next, eradication missions. Eradication missions were uh, basically ending too quickly. So the devs have decided to lengthen them. Uh, mine was, they're about twice as long now. Um, and the spawns on them are much more aggressive. As a solo player on the eradication missions, it was a bit of a rough time until I could find a safe little rocky perch in order to begin uh, beating back the Terminids this morning. It is it is a definite big change to how those missions uh, work, so uh, just be prepared for that. After that, primary, secondary, and support weapon changes. These are the big ones. So, first off, SG-25 Breaker gets a nerf, decreasing the magazine capacity from 16 to 13 and increasing the recoil from 30 to 55. The recoil, that's not too bad. That that has That's fine. Like, you don't need to worry about that. The magazine capacity, though, is a pretty decent nerf. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt this thing into the ground and make it useless, but um, it does definitely affect it. It affects that magazine capacity. Uh, economy one that you could already say the breaker kind of struggled with right magazine economy wasn't its strength already and to get a further hit in that means uh this one is definitely moving down the list or at least that's what the devs want or i mean i guess you could just be running a resupply pack after that the sg8 punisher i.e the pump action shotgun getting a buff first off increasing its total ammo capacity from 40 to 60 it's increased its stagger force, which is nice. It's also increased damage from 40 to 55 per bullet, which I'm a bit confused on that. I wonder if that means per pellet, uh, because there are some other pellet changes to some other shotguns. So we'll have to wait and see. I will say I was using it this morning. It is, I would say, a bit more effective, and the extra ammo is just always nice to have. Um, I think the Punisher is definitely going to move up in some players' uh, orders, just because... It was already a pretty strong gun, and to get these buffs, bring it on. After that, the Breaker Spray and Pray. So uh, this is one of the final gun unlocks around along the regular uh, progression path. They've increased the armor pen. They've increased fire rate from 300 to 330 rounds per minute. They've increased the pellets from 12 to 16 per shot, and they've decreased the mag size from 32 to 26. Overall, I think it's still a fairly strong gun. Um, the the increase in pellets just means it's going to do more damage. Uh, so I think that definitely will end up making up for the reduction in magazine. If anything, I think it kind of equals out. But now you're going to deliver those rounds uh, at a quicker rate, which is really a buff to its DPM overall. Which hey, we will I will absolutely take. After that is probably going to be the big one. The one that uh, is going to shift a lot of loadouts, the railgun. Um, they have decreased the armor penetration in safe mode and decreased the damage against durable enemy parts. And let me just say, um, safe mode will no longer penetrate the front armor of a charger. And uh, the increased, the unsafe mode it's going to take a lot more rounds in order to pop off that front piece of armor on either of the legs. So uh, I think Begun has the age of the portable, uh, the disposable anti-tank 
uh, launcher begun because I think that's going to end up being the thing to help deal with large enemies that can be quickly called in uh, repeatedly. Uh, there, there are some other there are some other things out there, but railgun probably the biggest nerf of these patch notes. So just be prepared for that one. After that, the flamethrower gets a fifty percent buff to damage. Yeah, that's that's what I'm here for. Finally, uh, laser cannon has increased damage against durable enemy parts, increased armor penetration, and improved ergonomics. I think improved ergonomics is just going to mean that it's gonna maybe re reload the when you when you spend the full heat sink sort of deal. It's gonna reload that that a bit quicker. Who knows? After that, let's move on to the stratagems. Uh, the shield generator pack, it has an increased delay before recharging. You definitely feel it, but um, this one still feels fine. Like, the, it still does its job. If you're if you're someone who's taking a hit every now and then, uh, it will absolutely be fine. And uh, I overall not too bothered by this one. Next up, both the Orbital 120 and 380 barrages have increased the duration of their bombardment, but also, and probably this is more important, decreased the spread. And I will say, I think they're definitely a a stronger call-in now, one that I may actually consider. Um, it's still a bit rough on the Terminids just because they move so much that, you know, one round landing every little bit means if you don't really surprise them, you may not end up hitting... Uh, anything with your barrage just because of the way they get pulled in aggro. But overall, this one feels a lot less random as far as uh, where it's going to end up doing damage. And uh, you can be a bit safer in calling it in a bit closer because it's not going to you know, cause you have to, to run halfway across the map in order to prevent one of those 380 shells from falling on you. After this, let's go ahead and go through the general fixes. So the big thing, they have fixed the armor ratings, i.e. armor now works as expected, which means light armor now definitely uh, doesn't protect you as much as heavy armor. Uh, in general, it felt like it's a, it's a decent step each way. I would say you end up taking a, like three more hits um, as you move up the the armor scale. So decent overall. I probably won't be running light armor anymore. Heavy armor has uh, definitely had its uses, especially in those solo missions where you're trying to survive a bit longer. Um, fix certain bug holes, including stalker nests, where they un were unnecessarily hard to destroy. Fix anti-aliasing anti toggle when not working on PS5. They balance lighting across all planets to solve cases where the game was too dark. They improved flashlight efficiency, increased uh, visibility during sand, rain, weather pattern on Arita Prime, updated tutorial materials and lighting, improved cases where some materials looked blurry if lighting graphic was set to low, fixed some cases where large assets floating on the ground, uh, they fixed the timing issue that could occur, extract E710 primary objectives, hell divers standing next to ICBMs during launch will get properly toasted with a chance of not so spontaneous combustion. So just a bunch of, of little fixes here and there. I think the big one is the armor and then the nerfs. So guys, those are the patch notes. I think we are definitely seeing a, uh, a shift. They are bringing this up uh, right now. The patch only available on PC. They're working on rolling it out to PS5, but uh, all the footage from here is of course on PC. So uh, you can kind of see the effects. Uh, Overall, I think it's a good patch. I kind of wish they had brought some of the guns up to the power of the breaker, but I understand uh, the railgun being properly, uh, like, overly powered compared to a lot of the other equipment and probably needed to be brought down, unfortunately. But, guys, that is the patch notes. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.